Hello, my amazing artist. Today we are going to draw our Georgia O'Keeffe inspired leaves. And you can see here is my example. I'm not completely done with this paper, but this is an example of a giant leaf that I have drawn being inspired by our artist, Georgia O'Keeffe. So we are going to first draw our leaves on our giant paper. And then today you're gonna focus on outlining your leaf with a paint marker. We will add these other creative details in the next art classes when you come to art. Let's get started. So today when I go supply shopping, I'm gonna grab two things. I'm going to grab this how to draw leaves paper and I'm going to grab a giant white piece of paper that we're going to do our drawing on today. You should already have a pencil at your seat, at your tables, in the containers at your tables. So what I'm first going to do is when I get to my seat, I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to write my name and code. You can always ask a friend if you forget your code. All right, so now that I've written my name, I'm gonna flip my paper over and I get to decide what kind of leaf I want to draw. Now what's really great is this paper shows you exactly how to draw these different kinds of leaves. And these are very small on this paper. Remember, we wanna fill up our leaf on the entire paper, our big white paper, so it's really, really big. Because remember, Georgia O'Keeffe likes to make artworks that are larger than real life. So I'm gonna choose one of these leaves on this paper that I like, and I will look, let's say I want to do, I think I'm gonna do this leaf right here. I'm gonna look at the first step. That's a step that says number one. This is a poplar leaf, and it says it right under where the drawing starts. So I'm gonna draw my leaf just like this paper says. And the first line I have to draw, I'm actually gonna turn my paper so it's a little easier. I'm gonna draw a line that curves that goes pretty much across my whole paper. Big curved line. And this might be a little hard for you to see because my camera is not as wide. The next thing I'm gonna draw are the curved lines for the outsides of my leaf. And again, this doesn't have to look exactly like the leaf on our paper. Mine doesn't look exactly like that, but that's okay. My next step is to draw the veins. Now I have a choice. I can make lots of veins, but I wanna make sure I leave some space for all those really creative details we're gonna add our next art classes. So I think I'm gonna spread out the lines that my veins are gonna be. And I'm gonna make them go from one corner all the way to the edge of the leaf because I can see in this picture, they don't stop halfway through like some of the veins and other leaves. They go all the way to the edge. And again, my leaf might not look exactly like the other leaves. And if I make a, oh, if I make a mistake, I can take my eraser and just erase that line. All right, and there we go. So I think it looks pretty cool. So once I have drawn my leaf, I'm gonna come around and check your artwork to make sure you have drawn your lines with enough space to add those creative details in our next art classes. Once I check your art, I will give you a paint marker to outline your leaf. So I can put my pencil back in the bin at my table and now I'm ready to outline or trace over my pencil lines. So I will go ahead and get you a paint marker. You will twist open the lid. Remember, to wake up your paint marker, all you have to do is give it just a little squeeze or a little pinch. And my goal is just to trace over my pencil lines. So I'm gonna trace over and if it's scratchy, remember, give it just a little squeeze. We don't wanna make puddles or lakes of paint markers. So I'm gonna draw all the way around. I'm gonna start on the left side because I'm drawing with my right hand. I don't want to drag my hand through my paper. So I'm gonna trace over all my lines. And I like to start outlining the outside. Then I can outline the inside. And again, you see I missed my line, that is okay. If you make a mistake, just keep going. Once I have outlined or traced over all of my lines, I'm gonna put my lid on my paint marker. I put my paint marker back in the bin on my desk and then my artwork can go on the drying rack. If you finish early, you can help a friend. All right, friends, your goal is to get your giant paper, your how to draw paper. You're gonna write your name first, draw your leaf with a pencil second, then I will check it and give you a paint marker to outline or trace over your lines third. If you need help, 
Feel free to raise your hand or ask a friend. Happy creating!